Hi friends, welcome to Plexus Auto. My name is Dr. Kanan Kumar and today we are going to discuss a very short topic, dermatomal and myotomal distribution of the nerves in the upper limb. It's a very commonly asked question. You should be able to crack it very easily because it's a very factual question, very easy to remember. So we're going to go over the dermatomal and myotomal distribution of the nerves in the upper limb. Okay, so it's a very short uh, topic. You have to, it's a very factual thing. You have to remember it very clearly. So we have, you know, we have uh, five roots which form the brachial plexus. It is C5, C6, C7, C8 and T1. If you have a contribution from C4, it is called as a, a prefixed plexus. And if you have a contribution from T2, it is called as a post-fixed post plexus. You, we all know this very well. So let us go through the dermatomal uh, distribution of these nerves. Uh, the dermatomal distribution is very easy to remember. The lateral, it starts from the lateral portion of your uh, shoulder. It is called the regiment patch sign. You must all remember that where the axillary nerve is involved. But the dermatome that supplies this area is the C5 area. Okay, as you go down on the lateral portion, you have the C6 area, which uh, supplies the lateral portion of the forearm and the thumb as well. Then you have the C7, which supplies the middle finger. And then you have the C8, which supplies the inner portion, that is the little finger and the medial portion of the forearm. Then you have the T1, which supplies the medial portion of the arm. Right. So let us recap again. C5, the upper portion of the shoulder, the lateral portion and C6 is the lateral portion of the forearm and the thumb, C7 is the middle finger, C8 is the little finger and the C8 is the little finger and the medial portion of the forearm and T1 is the medial portion of the arm. This is very simple. So the dermatomal distribution is very simple. The myotomal distribution is a little different. So what is the dermatomal distribution? It starts from the lateral portion of the arm and then goes down then comes back into the medial side of the arm. So that is from C5 to T1. This is very simple and very easy to remember. Let's come to the myotomal distribution, which is a little bit more um, confusing, but it's very easy to remember. So please go C5 is elbow flexion. C6 is wrist extension. Then you come back again proximally. C7 is elbow extension. C8 is your finger flexion. And T1 is your little finger abduction. So basically C5 is your brachialis and biceps muscle okay brachialis and biceps muscle which help in elbow flexion so and the reflex that you will test here is the biceps reflex then you go down distally wrist extension is the main component or the way you test for c6 myotome right and uh, the muscles which are involved are the extensor carpi radialis longus and brevis longus inserts into the second metacarpal base the brevis inserts into the third metacarpal base and that's why it's called longus and brevis right and the reflex that you will test for is basically the supinator reflex. Supinator reflex. Supinator reflex is you tap um, a distal third of the forearm on the radial aspect and you would feel a brachioradialis function. It's a misnomer. All of you know this very well. So supinator reflex is used for testing C6. Then for C7 you come back up proximally and you look at for the look at the test for the uh, elbow extension. C7 is the triceps muscle or elbow extension and the reflex that you test for is called as the triceps reflex right then you go to c8 c8 is all the finger flexors so the main finger flexor you test is for the middle finger flexion and uh, there is no reflex for this okay so you basically test the flexion of the middle finger any weakness in that will indicate a c8 myotomal involvement myotome involvement t1 is little finger abduction right and does not have any reflex uh, to test uh, um, and uh, basically all the intrinsic muscle are involved here and therefore the t1 should be tested like this so this is in brief about the dermatomal and myotomal involvement of the upper limb we will go through in another short video regarding the dermatomal and myotomal involvement of the lower limb so to briefly recap the dermatomal involvement you have the c5 which involves the lateral portion of the upper part of the arm C6 is the lateral portion of the forearm and the thumb. C7 is the middle finger, right? And C8 is the medial portion of the arm and the little finger. And T1 is the medial portion of the arm. The myotomal involvement is the biceps and brachia, that is elbow flexion C5 and biceps reflex, wrist extension C6 and supinator reflex, elbow extension C7 and triceps reflex, middle finger flexion C8, and little finger abduction T1, right? So this is in brief about the dermatomal and myotomal distribution of the upper limb nerves. Thank you very much. 
for hearing me out. This is uh, Plexus Sorta and my name is Dr. Kanan Kumar. Thank you.